Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Vanessa. This is Vanessa CX Beauty. And today we are going to be swatching, using, and reviewing the brand new Coffee Cat eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. This is she. She features 16 shades and retails for $9. So that is definitely a deal. And the best part about this eyeshadow palette is that it smells like espresso. Espresso is an acquired taste or smell um, and I love that scent because it reminds me of when I used to work at Starbucks but if you like the scent of espresso you will like the scent of this eyeshadow palette so yeah but this did come out with its sister ice cream B I will be recording this video tomorrow but today we're gonna be focusing on the coffee cap because it caught my eye more and yeah, if you're interested in seeing how this eyeshadow palette performs, just continue watching. Okay, so we are going to start off with the swatches. I'm going to be swatching up the first row. Moving on to the second row. So this is the second row swatched out. On to the third row. And that is the entire third row. On to the final row. And this is the entire eyeshadow palette swatched out. It definitely looks promising and I really do appreciate all of the depth. Something that I'm noticing as I swatch the palette out is that it's kind of reminiscent to the Natasha Denona bronze palette. But now that we've seen them all swatched out, let's start using it on the eyes. So I have my P. Louise eye base all over my eyes. And we're going to dig into free refills with my Morphe JS9 brush and place this all over the crease. Oh. oh, hello, hello. I do like this brown. It kind of reminds me of a brown within the Raw Beauty Christie Times Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow palette with the little mustardy undertone actually so pretty also y'all the smell of espresso does not go away <laughs> like as I'm using this all over my eye I am highly highly smelling the espresso <laughs> that might be a con to some people so I did just want to disclose that but that built up very, very beautifully. Next up, we're gonna go into Mocha Me Happy with my Morphe M507. And we're gonna put this all over our outer V to create some depth because this is a dark shade. I would say it's a brown almost turning into a black and it's stunning, 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 stunning. Wow. Going back in with my JS9 with no extra product. I'm just going to be blending those two shades into one another. So there's no harsh lines in between them before we cut our crease. And now it's time to cut the crease with the P. Louise Eye Base and my Olimar Packing Brush. Alright, so now that we have our crease cut, we're going to go into Hug in a Mug with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Packing Brush. And we're going to pop this on the outer half of the lid. That is a gorgeous shade. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. 
I'm a little weird when it comes to shimmers, but this one is pretty. And for the inner half, we're gonna dig into Just Brew It with the same brush. Just Brew It is not looking as vibrant as the other shimmer we put down. But they do look like they are different formulas, to be honest. This one might fare better with a finger just because it looks like and it feels like more of a super shock shadow. And yep, I'm correct on that. But if you guys know me, um, I'm not the biggest fan of using my finger for shimmers just because I do cut creases a lot. So if you do not mind using your finger for this shimmer, then this might be the palette for you. But that's my one con thus far for this palette. Okay, so I just touched the other two shimmers that I didn't use today, and it looks like this shimmer right here is the same formula as this shimmer, and then this shimmer right here is the same formula as this one. So these two are more soft and super shock shadowy, while these two are powders and true, like, actual shimmers. So that is something to note, because if I didn't know, I did not know that. And I'm not the biggest fan of that kind of formulation, but a lot of people are. So I did want to let y'all know about that. But this is what we have thus far. I'm going to finish the other eye. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. And then we're going to do the lower lash line together and then talk about final thoughts. Okay, so we are back for the lower lash line. We're going to go into Espresso Yourself with my Morphe N507. And we're just going to blow this out on the lower lash line because it is such a pretty shade and then on the inner portion we're gonna go into rise and grind and we're just gonna pack that in there to create the illusion that we like slept for eight hours because I definitely haven't been I don't know what's up with my sleep schedule but my under eyes need a lot of help as of recent so this just helps open up your eyes more and this helps me because I do put a lot of black around my eyes and my eyes are already small so this helps it look a little bit bigger and not necessarily as tiny but but this completes the look with the coffee cat eyeshadow palette from wet and wild I adore this palette. I'm not a fan of two of the shimmers, which are the Super Shock Shadowy Shades 1 and 2, but the mattes are phenomenal. The shimmers that are actually powder are phenomenal, and it kind of reminds me of the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I'm going to bring that out again. $65. $9. Nine I mean, there's slight variations, but I feel like they're comparable. And you can get some of the similar looks. Like, I feel like when I reviewed this, I did a similar look to this. So, let me know your opinions down below on that. But yeah, I think it's like an everyday palette. It can also be like a glam palette, a date palette. It's definitely something that's very versatile. Even though it's just like browns and neutrals, I think it's a good purchase. I definitely do recommend it. I love the look that I created today. I'm going to a baby shower. Congratulations, Michael, on your baby. But that is all I have to say about this palette today. Tomorrow, be prepared for the ice cream B palette. But have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.